What's up guys, Zoe here from OneGlassTrader.com and welcome back to my Baby Pips Forex Education video series. So we're talking everything about Fibonacci recently in this series and in this particular video we're going to be looking at how we can use Fibonacci retracements with Japanese candlesticks. So this is one that you know is close to my heart because for those of you who follow my channel I've created probably the best indicator uh, out there on the MT4 platform for Japanese candlesticks. So you can get that by clicking the link below because the examples I show are going to be using my OGT price action indicator and again for those of you who are new to the uh, baby pip series um, you guys can also click the link in the description um, and that will take you to the full playlist so you can watch the overall videos that I've done so far uh, on the baby pip series and um, I'm getting some great feedback on this uh, on this series so so thanks very much um, so yes yeah, so just to kind of quickly walk you through the um, actual tutorial again I'll link all the tutorial inside the description but effectively what it's showing is it tells you you know obviously identifying a, a trend a swing high and swing low um, for for Fibonacci and um, as you can see here what it's in this example over here what it's showing is is that you've got a, a doji candlestick pattern at the uh, I can't even read it properly 61.8 level um, and then and then you'll see in that example here that the uh, trend continues to go inside a downward uh, direction. So again, these are just a couple of examples here that I'm showing here of how you can use uh, Japanese candlesticks or price action uh, with um, uh, with Fibonacci. So I guess what you guys are really more interested in is some prime examples using the indicator. So let's get to it. So we're on a dollar Swiss chart, uh, hourly chart, and um, I want to walk you through two examples of where you can utilize Japanese candlesticks with uh, Fibonacci retracements. Now, in both examples, I'll be using my OGT price action indicator. You can get that absolutely free. Links in the description, and I'll put a tutorial video in the top right -hand corner. So the first example I'm going to show is uh, how to utilize retracements with uh, pin bars. Now, what I've done is I've drawn uh, my Fibonacci retracement at this swing low and at this swing high. And what we're looking for here is for price to retrace and um, react at one of the retracement levels. Now, the good thing about using my indicator is that it will only show uh, you um signals for your predefined settings and again i'm not going to go through that in this video the tutorial will, will walk you through all of that but what you can see here is is once you've drawn your swing high and swing low um, um you just wait for the signal and a signal would have appeared over here as you can see it's got this number 47 and for those who are new again i'm not going to go into what that number signifies um, but it will give you an alert whether that's through push notification sound or email that a uh, bullish pin bar has formed which is exactly what we're looking for and you can see that it is printed pretty much bang on the 38.2 level where prices you know kind of rejected that level now uh, the next bar as well uh, is also uh, a bearish pin, uh, bullish pin bar doesn't fit the rules of um, uh, of the indicator so therefore you haven't got a signal there but to look at two rejection candles inside a row this would be a perfect buy entry opportunity uh, for you to get into this trade and as you can see that price you know continues to push up and make and make new highs so that's one example there of how you can use pin bars um, uh, to be able to utilize Fibonacci retracements so now what I'm going to do is enable in the indicator um, engulfing patterns so you can see in the indicator you've got uh, uh, you've got dojis marabozu inside bars so you've got different uh, different price, price patterns and again all the parameters uh, are all fairly flexible so you can add different ranges and things like that again the tutorial videos will walk you through all the settings and i've got a lot of videos on how you can optimize those settings uh, for trend traders and counter trend traders so as you can see here um, what it does it gives you um, 
bullish uh, engulfing engulfing bars in in the current version the way i've set this up only in um trending markets so what i'm going to do is i'm going to utilize this engulfing bar over here so if i move that swing low to there and move that swing high high to there so what we've got so we've got the swing low here and the swing high here so what we're looking for is price to react at this uh, kind of retrace any of these retracement levels and as you can see here uh, the bar before the signal of the engulfing bar um, you know again was was kind of a, a doji or the one before is definitely a, uh, a doji this one here is a bit more of a, a bigger body than i would like so you're starting to get um exhaustion of these kind of you know six seven uh bearish candles in a row and then you get this massive mother mother bar of an engulfing bullish bullish candle there which signifies as you can see as time goes on starts making a new a new highs and this forms the uh, swing low for the pin bar that we saw uh, earlier uh, for the next retracement up so this is a great example of where you've got two two price patterns or two japanese candlestick patterns um, working in tandem with fibonacci retracements and this is just one of the ways that again you can trade the price action indicator there's so many ways i've got thousands well not thousands uh quite a few videos on the price action indicator and how i trade it how i use it uh, for trend and counter trend traders so i'll link i'll link to that um after uh, after this vind uh, video uh when the uh, end screen starts coming up so i strongly recommend that you download the indicator give it a go test it on demo um and hopefully you guys uh, find success with it so uh, what you'll see now is the playlist for the rest of the baby pip series and the playlist uh, for the OGT price action indicator tutorial and also the best settings that I personally use for it. So check out those videos.